Yo guys, what is up? It is Kento from the Only Geek coming back at you for a brand new video. So today we are going to be learning about portal events and uh, when they are created. So that would be when a person right clicks with flint and steel in a portal. So let's get into it. Starting off, we're going to go into our events package. Right click, new class, and let's call this portal events. After this is done, we can implement listener and delete this auto generated stub. After that, we can do add event handler public void on portal create um, and then portal create event e. After that's done, we're going to make an array list of block and then call this uh, p for portal and then equals oops, equals e dot get blocks. So that will save all the blocks in the portal except for the bottom two to a nice little array. So now we can say e.set cancelled true and a for block b and then colon p so that's getting all of the blocks in the array list we are going to say uh, b dot break naturally and then bucket dot broadcast message chat color dot red plus no portals for you. <laughs> so after this is done, you can right click, export, go into game, and once it's done, you can right click. Right, sorry, now we have to um, implement, or sorry, register the events, a bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events, new portal events. And this import portal, portal events and go back and reload. Oop, wow, one actually spawned. That's quite cool. So, once this reloads, this should all just go away. And now, when you right click, it says no portals for you. So, yeah, that was all for today's video. I hope you come back at 10 uh, a.m. EST for a brand new video that will be all about um, strings and in separate class files. So yeah, that's going to be a really cool video. I hope to see you all right back here at 10. See ya.